My name is Sonia Loya. I grew up in Redoso, New Mexico, and that is where we are currently. Um, in my store, Hosanna's Glassworks and Judaica, Inc. And uh, I'm also the founder of Batzion Hebrew Learning Center. And I'm a glass artist by trade. And the dichroic glass is so spectacular and light. It's originally a NASA-developed glass. If I move it in light, it looks like it's changing colors. It was originally developed by NASA for protection for the shuttle when they go past the ozone. And that's what's on the tiles and their helmets and in the shuttle. Um, it has a metal screen. So it is very expensive glass. It's sold by the square inch. And it's been my passion because it's so magnificent in the light. And that is why I have um, used it in my crypto artwork, and which I will be doing the Society for Crypto Judaic Studies. I'm the art curator for that uh, society this year for their 19th annual conference. Um, and in different light, you can see it looks like it's changing. This piece is called Juggling, and it has all the fractured crypto Jewish world of 500 years, and they're juggling identities and hopefully they will find their way back and it will be a smoother transition for them. And this piece is called Exodus 2. But the Hamza, I've, I've been inspired to do a series of Hamzas for probably a year now. And it's finally come to pass in the last several months of really a lot of work and late nights in my studio but none of which I complain about because I absolutely love it. This is where I want to be. And uh, you can see the hidden Star of David right here. And it looks like waves, especially when you see it out in the sunlight. And then you see the hums of the red hand, which of course, you know, the red is the protective energy of Gabriel, according to Kabbalah. And um, so we have the protection of Hashem and the angels that took us out of the first exodus and will always take us out of another. And uh, so that's why it's called Exodus 2, because right now, 517 years later, um, almost to the date, Saturday will be August 1st, and 1492, August 1st, Columbus sailed for the New World. And most people that have done historical um, documentation on Columbus have all come to some conclusions that he was Jewish. This year, my, um, my presentation at the Society for Crypto Judaic Studies is titled From Darkness to Light, because for 500 years, we survived by hiding in secret, and today we're coming out and you see us in the light. And it's called Stars of Abraham. Um, when you hold it in the light, and we'll see it outside in the light, um, you see the stars through it. and. Um, the promise to Abraham was that his descendants would be as numerous as the sands of the sea and the stars of the sky. And that is one of the few prophecies that hasn't happened yet. The Jewish people have always been one of the smaller populated groups on the planet. And now the descendants of crypto Jews are in the millions. And um, we're seeing that happen. Every day I am contacted via phone, people walk in, um, or via email, mostly through email, uh, asking for help. For I got a few of those emails this morning. And um, so I'm very fortunate and privileged to connect my artwork to the Learning Center and be able to have facilitate people in their research, their ancestry, learning about Judaism. So it's been a very interesting journey getting the DNA and getting the research on my name the same day and then two days later in the mail a friend of mine didn't know anything about you know what I was where I was at and what I was getting as far as information about my heritage uh, she sent me a book called The Glassmakers An Odyssey of the Jews the first 3,000 years and this is eight years of research and I've cherished this book because somehow glass has connected me to my ancestry and to my history and it brings me to the current. 
feel, I feel a real strong connection to this piece because um, we're starting to see the fulfillment of that prophecy all these thousands of years later. It's a possibility in our lifetime to see that and to be part of that is even more incredible.